Rivers, everybody. Slade yeah. Rivers! Thank you. You're off the hook right now because we got a pro up. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but you're not you're not done yet. I'm gonna give I'm you one done. more shot after the next commercial. <laughs> um, so, as you know, we every Thursday night we bring in uh, comics over to the union yeah, and. We get a really decent crowd. I mean, we get 30, 40 people in that That's little so room. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. It is pretty very cool. cool. And, you know, it's it's good to have stuff like that out here. Absolutely you know, it is. We and, need that. We need more laughter in the world we, anyway. We do. We do. Which is why I dress like this. So. I know. Okay. We love it. <laughs> Donnie and Marie, girls. Donnie, yeah. look it up on the internet. You know what the internet is? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, the thing that Al Gore invented. Al Gore, yeah. I thought it was Chuck Norris. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so um, we bring in comics every Thursday, and then we bring them here on the show. And uh, most of them are happy to be up this early, uh, yeah. but uh, not really. Comics love to love the late night, and they, uh, and they especially love to get up really, really early. They so, love it. They yeah. love it. So you can tell uh, by the look on their faces. This gentleman that we have with us today uh, just spent the last seven years uh, in in Vegas and touring nationally as Joey Bishop in the Rat Pack is back oh, and awesome. uh, did 1,753 shows as wow. Joey Bishop, uh, making his return to stand up. <laughs> so awesome. We're happy to have him, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Mickey Joseph, Woo! everybody! Yay! Thank, you. Thank you very much, Ed. That's very nice of you. You know, when I was a kid, I looked just like Donny Osmond. Everybody said that, you know. Aww. And it's funny because he still looks like Donny Osmond, and I look like Dr. Phil. I don't know what the hell happened to me. But I grew this mustache. Now everybody's speaking Spanish to me, you know. And it's okay because I mowed two lawns on the way down here this morning. And uh, I only have six bags of oranges left. And uh, tomorrow I'm helping a guy build a porch. And uh, Tuesday I have a modeling gig um, for a tequila bottle. And... Uh, <laughs> I didn't know I'd grow a mustache and become a yak of all trades. I had no idea that would happen to me. <laughs> but do you like my suit? What do you think, huh? Oh, it's very, very snappy. Come on, I put it on just for you. I mean, Yay! I got this suit in Detroit, Michigan. They told me this is the Motown look right here. In fact, I was coming down the street this morning, and this very attractive lady was looking at my suit. I said, I know what you're thinking. Marvin Gaye, right? <laughs> she says, I don't know about the Marvin part. <laughs> <laughs> I walk through a casino with a suit on. Everybody thinks I work there, you know. <laughs> the dealers, the, the waitresses, everybody's smiling at me. Little old ladies, you know, where can I cash in this $600 slot machine voucher? Why don't you sit right here, madam? I will take care of that for you personally right now. Don't worry. <laughs> Make a lot of money that way. You know? So I'm having a bad hair day. Uh, <laughs> it's not that funny, huh? The kids today are shaving the sides of their head and letting the top grow. As you can tell, I'm slightly dyslexic. <laughs> a lot of people say, shave it off, man. Shave it all. That's the style. I tried it. I look way too much like Tweety Bird. <laughs> I had the most beautiful widow's peak right here when I was a teenager, too. Shoot. Look what happened. It went all the way back. There it is. <laughs> look at that. People. people look at the back of my head and go, to the bat cave. I'm like, where? Where's the bat cave? I don't see. <laughs> Are you laughing or laying an egg over there? What the hell is it? I forget. So, <laughs> I'm a dad. I've got two kids. I'm very proud of that. Uh, my kids are, I mean, they're grown now, but I was a single parent. And uh, with the help of my family, I managed to raise two beautiful children. I, one summer, I sent them all the way to Toronto. Wow. I don't know anybody there. I just had enough. You know, <laughs> Bye. I love it when couples say, we don't have kids, we have cats. I'm like, shoot, why didn't I think of that? Cats. <laughs> Doesn't cost anything to send a cat to college. You know, you <laughs> drive him to Berkeley and drop his ass off. You know? I'll see you in four years. <laughs> My son was born 11 pounds, 12 ounces. Whoa. That's the truth. 24 inches long. Whoa. Wow. It's not a baby, it's a salmon. You know, yeah. <laughs> My kids are funny. We took, my brother and I took our kids camping, and, and we were driving through Carson City, Nevada. And I leaned over to my brother, and I said, that's the bunny ranch over there. And my daughter sits up in the back seat and goes, I want to go to the bunny ranch. And my son says, I want a chocolate bunny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, son, once you have a chocolate bunny, you never go back. You know that, don't you? Just get him down. <laughs> well, I'm getting older. I know that. I got ear hair. I don't know where the hell that came from. It's, it's like I put Rogaine on my head and it must have dripped down. <laughs> I don't want to cut it. I want to let it grow so I can comb it up. You know, bring it all up there. Oh. Get something going. You know, an ear do. Yeah. You know, 
Irvis. Hey, man, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, I exercise every day. I do. I walk every morning. I do not have the newspaper delivered to my house, okay? I walk all the way down to the end of my neighbor's driveway. <laughs> <laughs> and then I run home. I tried yoga. I learned something about my inner self. I am partial to the frozen yoga. Look, these are the cleanest jokes I have, so please, come along a little bit. I, I'm a nightclub comic. I'm really I'm sweating like a urinal cake at an asparagus festival right now. I think the older you get, the better your nose blows. You know, my, I blow my nose, brr, nothing. My father, 92 years old, blows his nose like Chuck Mangione. You know. Somebody put a dollar in his hat. I took him to Pier 39. We made 165 bucks. It was good. And, uh, I have a great dog at home. He's an Italian pit bull. He goes like this. He goes, woofa woofa. He's very sexy, you know. He, and when he sleeps, he dreams. Anybody have a dog that does that? The legs are going like this, and the eyes are going, woofa, woofa. I mean, what the hell is he dreaming about? You know? I was strolling down the piazza. No car, no leash. Just the wind in my snout. When I catch the scent, a beautiful French poodle, I look at her, she look at me, I say, woofa, woofa. <laughs> She got too scared, she ran away. I was so upset, I couldn't even lick her myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was put on the pound when I was a puppy. Me and my five brothers. They take me to the vet. He smiled at me. He pat me on the head. Then he take my gagoozies and he chop them off. <laughs> Mamma mia, I wish I'd bite them when I had the chance. When I finally wake up, my woofa woofa was like, woofa woofa. <laughs> And he farts out loud, too, my dog. He farts out oh, like yeah. that, you know. And he feels bad about it. He leaves the room. So, scusa. <laughs> Goes around in a circle. Sometimes he tries to cover it up with a woofa. He goes, woofa. <laughs> woofa, woofa. <laughs> Are you okay? Really? Seriously, we've got to get you something here. So anyway, I, uh, I like to read a lot. I read that they found some coyotes in downtown San Francisco, and they suspect that these coyotes are coming in from Marin County across the Golden Gate Bridge in the middle of the night. Jeez. And I'm thinking, right, how's a coyote going to come up with seven bucks? <laughs> I got pulled over by that short little cop, too. Every city's got a short cop. It's always that one cop. Gets off his motorcycle, he's got boots up to here. You know, comes walking up to the car really cool. All right, let me see your driver's license. <laughs> Don't make me climb up there. Of course, I got my license. Here it is, man. <laughs> Let him jump a little. You know? I, uh, let me see, a lot of people, a lot, I must be a bad driver, because a lot of people give me the finger, you know, and I, I don't give it back. You know what I do? I wait till the guy pulls up next to me. That's what I do. And then I give him, I, I give him the look, you know. <laughs> and, and he's looking back at me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry! <laughs> I wish fat guys wouldn't wear spandex when they ride their bicycles. Oh, you know, yeah. the spandex. Is, right? How does that work? Honey, I want some exercise. Help me get my butt cheeks together, will you please? <laughs> Will you get the butt horn out? Get over here. <laughs> She's standing there with a canoe paddle. <laughs> she looked up. Where'd that canoe paddle go? <laughs> Put your child on the back of the bicycle. The child must wear a helmet, which is great. We've all seen a three-year-old with a 30-pound helmet on his head. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Wait a, wait a minute, Dad. Don't go down Lombard Street again. <laughs> Expert bicycle riders will balance at the red light. I love that balance stuff. You know. I just went, how's that? Is that better? Is it? I got a hobby too. I got a ticket one night for no headlight on my bicycle. The cops made me ride home with a flashlight in my mouth. You know. God forbid I should have an accident. End up in the hospital. Flashlight! Flashlight! That's it for me. I'll close with a shadow puppet, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, brother. So, uh, where are you performing this week? Nearby, not too far. I'm going to Grass Valley. I'm going to be at the Holbrook Hotel on Saturday night and hanging out with my uncle and my auntie tomorrow night. Very good. Or tonight. Nice. But Saturday night, Holbrook Hotel. Very cool. Nice. Grass Valley. Uh, anything else coming up after that that you want to mention? Or? Uh, no, I'm just, uh, you know, doing all kinds of gigs everywhere. Mostly one-nighters right now. Good. And uh, I'm taking care of my folks. I'm staying at home. Good man. Mickey Joseph, everybody. Give it yeah, up for Mickey. Mickey. We'll be back. Take us out, Slade. Woo!